So now we're going to take a look at example number 8. And for this situation, we're given sine of theta is 2 thirds and cotangent of theta is less than 0, which means that my cotangent function is going to be negative. Now, sine is my relationship y over r. Now, one of the things I want to take a look at is with sine, since it's positive, I want to take a look which two quadrants from ASTC my sine function is positive. Everything is positive in quadrant number one, and then sine is also positive in quadrant number two. So sine is going to be a no positive in quadrants one and two. Now cotangent, so I'm going to give cotangent O, sine was going to be my x. Now cotangent is my reciprocal of tangent. Now again, if I look back up here and all students take calculus, cotangent and tangent are my reciprocal functions. Now tangent is positive right here in quadrant number three. But I don't want tangent to be positive, I want it to be negative because my cotangent function from here is negative. So when I look at those couple of pieces, I want to figure out which quadrants that cotangent is negative in, and that's going to be up here in quadrant number two as well as quadrant number four. Now that I have that piece of it sorted out, I know which quadrant I need to draw my triangle in. In quadrant number two, I'm going to have my right triangle drawn. Now from my sine relationship, I'm told my sine is two-thirds, so y is two, and my r value was three. So what I've got to do is figure out what my x value is. I don't know that particular one. So to do that, I'm going to have to use Pythagorean theorem. So I'll have 3 squared minus 2 squared, and that's going to give me my x coordinate, my x squared. So I'll get 9 minus 4 for x squared. I get 5 for x squared, but then I have to square root it. Now, I've got two possibilities, 5 and negative 5. What a lot of people will do, they'll make this mistake, and they'll just put up in in this spot they'll just go ahead and say oh well it's going to be square root of 5. Don't be that person because here in quadrant 2 my x coordinate is always going to be negative so make sure that you add the negative sign onto the square root of 5 because that's the correct value that we want from our two choices. Alright now that I have all of my pieces on my right triangle all I'm going to do is go ahead and fill in uh, my corresponding values for sine it was y over r and I'm actually told that that one's two-thirds for cosine now I look at my x coordinate my x is square negative square root of five and my r is three for a tangent it's y over x so now I've got two over negative square root of five now when you get really good at these you can rationalize these in your head and when you go through that rationalization process, you end up with negative 2 square roots of 5 over 5. So there's my tangent function. Now for my other functions, cosecant, secant, and cotangent. Cosecant is r over y, so I look on my triangle, r is 3, and my y coordinate is 2. And notice also how cosecant and sine are reciprocal functions. They're just inverses of one another. Then I'm going to take a look at secant, r over x, so my r was 3, my x coordinate is negative square root of 5, so again when I go through and rationalize that, I'll end up with negative 3 square roots of 5 over 5. Then my last term, cotangent, and now what's really nice here, when I put the x over y, so this time I'm going to have uh, negative, five, negative square root of 5 over 2.